little sparklers. Welcome back to the merriest place on the internet. I'm done with summer. I think it should be over now and I think it should be autumn now so that we can get on with festivities. To hopefully inspire fall weather and the season and the joy that comes with all of the coziness and the wonderfulness, I have decorated a fall treat. Leaves, acorns, pie cones, whimsical woodly doos, gold and red and pretty, and we're gonna decorate it. Let me know in the comments if you're digging the wigs or not. Coordinating hair with trees. Let me know or are you like, oh my gosh, no, please be a normal. I don't know if I'm capable, but like I can try. On to the tree. All right, we're going with my green pre-lit fluffy tree and we're gonna start with the topper. Done. Yeah, I'm just kidding, no way. This thing's gotta be way more stable because it's a wobbly topper anyway and it's gotta be like even and cute. So let's get this on. And then I'm gonna add these kind of picks that I tore apart, sort of splay things. And I'm gonna fill them in right under the topper to kind of hide most of the pole stick thing that the stag head is on. And then I'm gonna put some poofy foam balls in fall colors right underneath. I wish I had way more of these because I would have stuck them in the tree, but this is all I have left. Oh man, this thing is so wobbly. Super wiggly. Now we're gonna add in gold feathery picks. Again, this is something I wish I had more of and honestly they took way longer than they should have as per usual to get in this tree. Uh, this tree just, look, I really love this tree. It always turns out absolutely beautiful, but to actually decorate this tree is a painful process. It's just painful. That's all I can really say because the, the branches are fluffy, which is cool and aesthetically awesome, but to work with it is a nightmare. I suppose I'll take this opportunity to tell you there's sparkle on merch. I've got lots of, not lots, a few, t-shirts and a sweatshirt and a sparkle on mask. So a cool face covering for you. So while you're sitting here watching me mess with golden feather picks, you can consider buying some sparkle on merch. Helps support the channel and like look cute at the same time. Yay. Anyway, back to my ordeal here. Picks, feathers, sparkles. All right, we finally get to move on to some ornamental things. We're gonna start with the big stuff like I do every time. We're keeping this tree all gold and like reds and oranges. I want it very glowy and like very woodland, but also Glamorous, sparkly forest. I love those acorn ornaments. Just testing out the shatterproof label. Nothing, nothing else. Just, they survived, which is good because I really, really love my acorn ornaments. Anyway, okay, we're adding in more ornaments and fun things. I really should up my ornament budget. I buy cheap stuff because I've already decorated seven trees in 2020. We haven't even got to the Christmas season yet, but I really need to up my budget for stuff because it will make my decorating more pleasant. Some people have a problem with perfection and some people is me. Since I only have three glittery leaves, I'm going to add them into the topper just to make it a little bigger. We know I like my topper. Extra. 
Super quick, if you're digging the videos, please hit subscribe. We do lots of happy things like this. All right, time for lots of leaves. Fun fact, all of these loose leaves, the glittery leaves and leaves I'm putting in now are from my wedding. We had a wedding in October, a wedding, our wedding. We only had the one um, in October and I did a very like fall kind of theme for it. Funnily enough, we only got married at like the courthouse. It wasn't like anything fancy, but I did have a bouquet and it was made out of pine cones and leaves. So these leaves are the extra leaves from my wedding. So extra neat, woohoo. Now we're gonna add these sort of picks. I made these out of pipe cleaners. You just twist two of them together in the colors that you want and then curly cue them in a Willy Wonka fashion. If you want a tutorial or like a, not even a tutorial, just a quick tiny video on how to make these. If you wanna see how I made these little woodly doos here, let me know in the comments and I'll throw one up on Instagram. Cause they're super easy and like, yeah. They get a little like Tim Burton Esque, but I'm not mad at that. And they were just the nice finishing touch for this tree. And lastly, I'm going to add gold pine cones. These are just pine cones I got. They were at a craft store and they're sprayed gold, shiny, kind of sparkly, super handy. Pick up some pine cones like this because I'll tell you what, they will fill in little holes and they're just, they add that just finished look to almost any Christmas tree, any sort of tree. I really love them. I use them all the time. I've had them for years. Super handy to have around. Pine cones, who knew? Oh my gosh, I think it's done. I love it. I wasn't sure I was gonna love it, but then I started putting the leaves on and I was like, yes. I wish I had just one more gold feather pick. I need like five more. I need so many more picks and I need to start buying higher quality stuff because like I'm starting to get very annoyed. I love how my trees are turning out, but they're just more work than they should be. I feel like. Anyway, the season is coming. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. It's like so super sweaty. This is obnoxious and offensive. If you wanna see me decorate a super classic Christmas tree for Christmas in July, you can click or tap right here. And I also have a full decorating tutorial right down here, my process, all that stuff. Fall is just around the corner. Keep your chins up. The Christmas season is coming. It will get here, it will get here. Thank you so much for watching and until we meet again, sparkle on.